Here tonight, following another shooting involving a juvenile in Luzerne County, Fox 56 is taking a deeper dive into the uptick in violence. Our Jake Sarworth live tonight after speaking with a resident and the district attorney. Jake. Yeah, Aaron, DA Sam Sanguidolce says that gun violence is not just on the rise here in Luzerne County, but across the entire Commonwealth. It's an unusual uptick for us. The Luzerne County District Attorney's Office has been working to investigate crimes involving gun violence. According to DA Sam Sanguidolce, crime continues to ebb and flow in the county, with one demographic recently increasing. It's just really coincidental that uh, we're seeing this increase or a concentration of crime being committed by juveniles right now. Just last week, a juvenile was charged with attempted homicide at the Eagle Ridge apartment complex in Edwardsville. 17 year old Eric Reyes is accused of firing two shots at a 20 year old, striking the person in the abdomen. DA Sanguidolce says the severity of the violence is shocking. The willingness to reach for a gun and discharge it at another human being. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen it so prevalent before. Sanguidolce believes the issue stems from there not being enough rooms to house juveniles who commit serious crimes. There have been multiple occasions where uh, the closest bed is four hours away. Uh, so we've had to drive across the state to house uh, juveniles, which is really not fair to the law enforcement community and it's not fair to the juvenile either. Nearby resident Ashley Urkelani moved from Jersey a little over a year ago. The uptick in gun violence is alarming to her. Things that we used to do was like go ice skating or something like that, you know what I mean? And these kids are just, I don't know, yeah. violent. It makes you be a little bit more trepidatious and cautious walking around, especially like at night or by myself. Governor Shapiro has incorporated $100 million into his budget to reduce gun violence and increase safety programs. Now, if the governor's budget passes with that $100 million in it, Sanguidolce says that they plan to create a task force to help combat gun violence here in Luzerne County, especially like we were saying with juveniles. Live tonight in Wilkesbury, I'm Jake Sarwar, Fox 56 News, first to 10.